I'm Fabio Viviani. Join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On my new show, Chin Chin to Italian. Today we are making four cheese sausage penne. Cheese, sausage, pasta, simple yet delicious and absolutely tasty. You guys don't need 15, 20 ingredients to make a great Italian meal. Simplicity is the key. Good quality, well put together dishes. Mangiamo. Let's eat. We are heating up a deep saute, it's important, because when you have a big plate with cheesy, a lot of sauce, a lot of ingredients, you need to have something a little deeper than a classic saute pan. My friends at Bialetti actually, shout out to my friends at Bialetti, they make fantastic cookware for it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna heat up one on medium, and the first things that we're gonna do, no butter, no oil, nothing, we're gonna render our sausage. What does it mean? What are you talking? What you render? How, what, what is that? What you do there? Well, rendering sausage means letting the sausage or any fatty meat melt the fat around and caramelize in its own juices, in its own fat. All right? So, the dish, just like most Italian dishes, the sauce is fairly quick. It's about a 10 minute recipe there, right? So what I wanna do, I wanna actually drop the pasta in the water to get ahead, right? So as the pasta cook for, you know, seven, eight minutes to make it nice and al dente, we're gonna have the sauce ready. I'm gonna drop the pasta in the water. Now, as an Italian tradition, you might are wondering, Fabio, why didn't you salt the water? Well, you know, I always salt my water, but in this case, I will not. For a simple reason, cheese. You got gorgonzola, you got fontina, parmesan, you got a lot of cheeses there, and there is a lot of salt in there. There is a lot of minerality. You don't need the extra salt in the water, all right? So, as the pasta cook, we are caramelizing the sausage here. Few more minutes and then the caramelization the rendering of the sausage will be done got to love italian sodas now as you can see there the sausage is starting to caramelize so we got there now we're going to add garlic to it do i need more fat no for the reason Sausage has a lot of natural fat. Also, one thing I want to add to it, it's a little bit of fresh spinach. Now, Fabio, we're eating four cheese sausage. What do we need the spinach for? Well, the sausage is brown, the cheese is whitish, so it doesn't have a lot of pop of color. So adding a handful of spinach like these, it will make not only for a great ingredient to actually eat, now, not that I'm looking to eat my side of veggies with the four cheese pasta and sausage, but it will also make for a great color there. And the spinach, by the way, is gonna wilt really fast. We're gonna add the pinch of pepper. Now, cheeses. We have fontina. We have blue cheese or gorgonzola, all right? Gorgonzola. A little bit of Asiago. Asiago is like an absolute quintessential cheese if you look for a good melt and a good uh, stringiness when you get your, your cheese sauce. And then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, Parmesan in it and we're gonna save the remaining for the top. Look at that. And now we're gonna add a little bit of whole milk to it. There. With the heat, the cheese will melt. And by melting, it's going to create a kind of, almost like a fondue. What's a fondue? It's a French fancy word that Italians shouldn't even use, but it's perfect because of the fine and exact 
thickness, which is like gooey, but not firm. And as these gets fondue, we're gonna add our pasta to it, and we're gonna let the pasta finish to cook in the milky four cheese reduction. Now, as you cook, Italian love wine. Of course, we love wine into our food, but mostly we just love wine. This dish is what I call something bold, something that require a more important red. If you were to drink a Pinot Noir, the Pinot Noir will get killed by the good aromatics and the strength of the minerality of the cheese and the strong bite of a good spicy sausage. So in this case, we're having a glass of Prisoner. Prisoner is one of the nicest red wine at a still very good affordable price that United States has to offer. It's red, it's bold, it has a good amount of tannin, it has a lot of dark fruit note in the back of your palate, and it's the perfect match to wash off all the fattiness of this dish and get you ready for the next bite. There, look at that. Now we go here. Look at that, perfect. Now we finish to cook the pasta in the sauce like good Italian do. It's not the 80s anymore, guys. It's not the time in history where you were allowed to get away with it by putting boiled pasta on the bottom of the plate and a scoop of sauce on top, it's long gone. We need to have the pasta cook in the sauce. They gotta marry. They can't be sitting on top of each other and look like, now what? Like, think about it, you're just sitting in a chair, perfectly clean after a shower, and somebody dump a bucket of sauce on your head. What are you gonna do? You're gonna look up, you're gonna be like, what am I, now what? Pasta feel the same way. You have to season it, you have to bath the pasta in the sauce. The pasta will absorb the sauce. Look at that. Now let the pasta soak up all the sauce for a minute. Be patient. Coming from me, it's a lot to say about it. But look at it. Now you gotta just let it soak. I feel like I need a little bit more pepper. Marcus, should we get a little bit more pepper in it? Do you like pepper? Cheese, what about cheese? You like cheese? Okay, cheese. There you go. Don't get excited. It's not ready yet. He has to breathe. I know you're excited. I get it. You just wish you just can dig on it. I get it. I understand. It will probably still be good. Better than most of the pasta with the sauce sitting on top of the thing. But not ready yet. Perfection requires time. Listen, the sound of success. Listen, you hear it? You hear the sizzling? Do you understand the sizzling? Look at that. That means that the sauce is reducing, the pasta is absorbing, and it's not 1980 anymore. Look. The secret for a good four cheese pasta is to walk away from it. Yeah, walk away. Let me explain you. Look, you toss a few times, and you walk away. Give her a 60 second of peace and quiet with no fire. Let it relax. 60 seconds, we'll be right back. 60 seconds, it's beautiful. It's exciting, it's like, this feel like it's the 60 second before midnight on December 31st. You can't celebrate 30 seconds in, it's not 60 seconds. Could it be the same celebration? Absolutely, 30 seconds doesn't change anything, but it does. Look at that, 30 seconds in. You can talk to your pasta. See, the pasta's talking to me. It's really, it really is. If the, your food doesn't talk to you, what, what are you even cooking? Think about it. Look at that. Shh. It's going quiet. It's like, it's like it's, it's kind of quiet down. It's almost like falling asleep because you haven't touched it for 60 seconds. Pasta's like, all right, we're done cooking. But no, we're just soaking up the last 60 seconds of sauce. Now, look what's gonna happen when you flip it. 
It's gonna be super coated and nice. Look at this. Look at that. That's what the 60 second does. Prevents all the four cheese sauce from running to the bottom. These are the things that they don't teach you in cooking shows. These are the things that they don't even teach you in culinary school. They don't know. And always flip your pasta before you plate it. That's a half of the sauce there. Uno, do it, tre, bam. You got leftover here. <laughs> leftover, right? Let's not take it too far. There's not gonna be any left. I'm just, that's the one left behind in the pan. Cheese. And then, you can decide it, the size of your flakes with this cone. It's actually really cool cheese grater. Even if you never use a cheese grater, right? Because there are people that never need to use a cheese grater. They sell grated cheese, it's America. But I like it and we're gonna make it rain. Look at that. I am average looking guy. Fine, I have an accent. That is a pointers for me, but the food, it's how I really got my wife. She only got in love with me because of the accent, but the food is why she stick around. Look at that. Four cheese pan with sausage. It's unfair, it's cheating. You're welcome. Great glass of wine, great plate of pasta. Chin chin to Italian.